Um, well, this group developed from an earlier group which had lain dormant for quite some time and hadn't been active at all. Uh, and it was about a year and a half ago when some new members came on board. Um, the, the group changed uh, in its makeup and its attitude and just became, went from being a, what was called a planning group to becoming an action group. Uh, and at the end of their first meeting as an action group, they all said what a great meeting it had been and what fun they'd had. Now, you've no idea how refreshing that is. Uh, they're a very active, uh, determined bunch of people and they get things done. Um, the Kiwi and Action Group, their main aim is to get more people involved with activities in the village. We are looking at providing a calendar of events that engage all the different age groups from the children that are preschool through the primary schools, the young people in the secondary and the, the older community in the village. Taking more pride in the village and getting more involved with a, a wide range of activities, whether it's health and social activities, it's taking pride in the village with litter picks and giving the kids some activities over holidays, the scavenger hunt at Easter and then our nature programme that we're looking to run over the summer. Well, the group have already worked with other organisations in the village and have a good strong partnership with both schools, there are two primary schools in the village uh, and they've made contact with the community council uh, and they aim to work with the community council in the future. Uh, there are some other groups in the village but not that many uh, and they've made a lot of attempts uh, to spread the word about what they're doing to the, to the wider community uh, through newsletter, uh, a Facebook page, there isn't a website uh, and so on. So they've got lots of ideas for doing that. Uh, I think after seeing what happened in, in London with the, um, the recent Olympic Games, it's quite obvious that um, it drum, drums up a lot of interest and a lot of activity and a lot of enthusiasm and it'd be quite a good opportunity for us in the village of Kerry to, to get the kids a wee bit more active, get them more engaged with the community, get them out appreciating their wildlife and, and having some fun. With the, with the Commonwealth legacy, I think the people in, of Kiwi can offer the Commonwealth inspiration and encouragement for the future. The kids that we're working with at the moment may not be old enough to be involved in this year's Commonwealth, but they can look at the Commonwealth in 2014 for inspiration and it will give the people of Kiwi some drive and focus for the Commonwealth in the future years. We're planning a number of uh, outdoor activities linked to the wildlife around the village and um, getting the kids more connected to the wildlife, getting them to understand what's there, to appreciate it more, to be able to identify it and record it and that links back to kids being more active, being uh, more aware of their outdoor um, that outdoor green space is a, is a place to explore and a place to, to, to cherish and um, that's what we've got planned for the coming months. More active kids, more engaged with their local wildlife and uh, more fun in the village.